My name is Didier Thais. I'm the head coach of the Ferry Challenge uh, Series North America. All right, we are here in Sebring, the home of the one of the classic endurance races in the world, the 12 Hours of Sebring. Very old racetrack. There was an airfield during World War II and modified to racetrack step after step, you know, after that. Turn one, very fast corner, very late apex uh, in fifth gear. You keep the momentum, you keep the speed up, you know, you exit here, bravely braking to turn three. Turn three is an option to pass, you know, other car very tight inside you make sure you stay left long enough to work turn four turn five very important exit you go a little bit on the curb not too much because you got the dirt right after because that straightaway is quite long all the way down to turn seven it's one actually of the straightaway very important at the track because if you want to pass cars that's where you go underneath you know on the right hand side at turn seven underneath the car you want to pass very tight corner uh, between second and third gears or all depends the style you have acceleration you go to the s's all the way down to turn 10. Turn 10 will have also a heavy braking, another option to pass other cars uh, since you really brake for the momentum of the of the speed. You know, a right-hander, some uh, drivers brake too late, you know, you get an escape route on the, on the left. You know, very tight uh, corner, you know, you accelerate third, fourth, fifth, and uh, you end up in uh, probably in six gears between uh, uh, between ter turn 12 and turn 13. 13, you know, light braking on the throttle quite a bit uh, right away in fourth gear. You get the back straight away with the left-hander who's, who's completely flat, very fast. Uh, you end up in turn 14, 15, which is the S's. Very important actually for uh, the back straight away. Uh, tight corners, you know, you have to be on the curb a little bit on the right, a little bit on the curb on the left, on the right again. Turn 16, we get the straightaway, very important because the longest straightaway of the racetrack, you want to keep the speed up and exit the corner as fast as you can. You prepare yourself actually for turn 17, very fast corners, or quite bumpy. Uh, it's one, you really need to be at the apex underneath the bridge, not too much because it's right, one bump right there, but you want to be right there to make sure you uh, go on the throttle early enough for the front straightaway and here we are again, another lap.